Hey there YouTube, welcome back to Fab Automotive Detailing. Today we got a review video on Adams Polish's carpet and upholstery cleaner. If you remember my last video on the 2006 Jeep Grand Cherokee that I got for my wife to drive back and forth to work, uh, the interior was pretty bad. It's heavily stained. It's a gray interior. As you can see, here's the, one, the seat we're going to be doing. I've done the driver's seat. I think, yeah, that's the driver's seat down there. I've done that. I'm going to show you what that looks like here in a minute. And then we're going to get the worst of the two, I think, which is the passenger seat. And I'll show you how well this product works. Let's do it. Okay, so here's the driver's seat. It was heavily stained. Now, there are some marks still. I went over it one time with Adam's Carpet and Upholstery Cleaner. You can kind of see these little light spots right here, but I'm telling you, this looks 95% better, a lot better. It had heavy brown stains, like the other seat, I'm gonna show you. Um, and my wife seems to think it's makeup. We're gonna go over the seats again later um, with our carpet cleaner but this is getting the heaviest parts of the seats. So here is the passenger seat. You see all this brown? Look at this. I mean, this stuff is just, ah, it's nasty, it's gross. All these stains. And the seat backs aren't terrible. They have some spots here and there. I don't know if you can see that one right there. But the seat backs aren't that bad. It's all just where you sit, where your butt is. Um, are just awful on this gray interior. So let me get my stuff, get set up, and we will do, I'll do probably half the seat in regular speed, and then I'll probably go into a time lapse doing the whole seat, and then I'll show you the final product. Okay, so let's go over the directions. Vacuum or blowout interior with Adam's Sidekick or Master Blaster, we already vacuumed. Uh, spray liberally onto soiled areas. Agitate with Adam's Cockpit Brush, I don't have one of those, I'm using just a regular interior brush carpet upholstery br brush. Um, wipe clean with dry edgeless utility towel to remove excess cleaner. I'm just using what I use typically on carpets and upholstery. It's just a, it's an older 3M microfiber towel. It's a towel that I don't care if it gets stained up, doesn't matter to me. Repeat process if necessary, allow to air, air dry or vacuum. If white residue appears, remove the Adam's ed remove with Adam's edgeless towel, dampen with warm water. I didn't have that problem on the other seats. We shouldn't have it on this one. Um, Let's see what else it says. It says it has no funky smells and will not create suds. That is true. It does not have a smell at all. Excellent around the house too. Non-toxic, non-allergenic, -allergen cleaner, contains no soap. Um, I can tell you already I like it, but let me show you guys how it works. So let's just do, we're gonna do like, like I said, maybe just do half the seat, but we'll do small sections at a time. We're gonna get this good and wet. I don't wanna overdo it. And I kinda let it dwell for just a minute, you know. 10, 15 seconds, not very long. Um, and then I kind of go in just tight circles when I do it. I guess this is the only time I'll say, hey, do circles. Um, that's how I found the best way to clean the other day. And it does not suds up at all. And these heavy, heavy makeup areas like right here, it does take a little bit of extra product. I found that out on the first seat. We found tons and tons of makeup underneath the seats and they were all this brown color. It was all over the visor, the mirror. I mean, it was all over the radio. It was on everything. So now we're just gonna wipe it. Look at that. That brown, it's just, ugh. I'm sorry, I keep saying that, but it's gross. But this stuff, I don't know what they make this stuff with, but it works so good. Now we're gonna go over that one more time just because it is right where the majority of that makeup was. And I'm not gonna get it nearly as wet this time. I'm just gonna go back in there and agitate it. And we're not looking for brand new looking seats. Look, there's even more. 
Like I said, we're not looking for brand new looking seats. But my wife said, uh, this is just too dirty. Let's get it cleaned. So that's why we're doing this, which is fine with me. I have no problem cleaning cars, obviously. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing this. Okay, so let's move on to the next section. Hopefully, let me back you up a little bit. Sorry. We're going to try to try to make this the best half shot as I can, 50-50 shot. Now I can tell you I did one seat and I did a visor and I've got less than half a bottle left. So this stuff, you do use a lot of it. I am not big into interior detailing. I think some of you probably know that from my videos. I've said that I mainly detail exterior every great while every now and then i guess i should say i'll get somebody wants me to do the interior i definitely do the interior on my own cars definitely another brown spot right here let's just hit that one more time saturate that one really good Oh yeah, that, I think that's going to get rid of most of that. We're going to put all the interior back in and then we're going to go over it with a carpet shampooer. Once the seats are in, I should say. Let's try to find a clean part of this towel. Just wipe forward with it. Pretty dirty. Try to get the clean spot of that side. And this stuff is pretty, pretty dirty. It's probably just never, ever been cleaned. And look at that. That would be my guess. Especially after putting an engine in it and seeing all the parts of the car that I've seen. It's definitely never been really taken care of. That's fine. It's $400. If I get a couple years out of it, I'll be stoked. Okay. Obviously, this side is still wet, but you can tell the color difference. Look at the color difference. This Adams Polishes Carpet Upholstery Cleaner is an amazing product. Now, as you can see, I still have some stains. I could go over it again, but it really isn't that big of a deal. This turned out really good here. You can see it's kind of a darker color over here. Um, still, like I said, still have some staining, but not bad compared to what it was before. Up here needs a little bit more work. And I might go back and do that, I don't know, but I'm gonna put this in a time lapse and we'll finish this whole seat. When I come back, I will show you what it looks like. Okay, so if you remember what it looked like before, I did go over these again just a second ago. It looks so much better. I'm gonna do the headrest and stuff off camera. I mean, you guys don't need to watch me do all that, but. There you go. That's how well that stuff works. Okay, my son has the uh, camcorder in hand. So he's gonna help me do this and my daughter's sitting right next to him. Um, 
I'm not gonna show you cleaning all the carpets in here because I'm gonna actually make another review video after this one on a different carpet cleaner, but I wanna show you what this stuff can do. And the reason I don't really wanna do it is because I don't have much left to do in here because I did two seats and I've got uh, barely any left, less than a quarter of a bottle. I don't have enough to do all the carpet in here, so I'm gonna use something else that I know works really well. Um, so we're gonna spray it on here. I gotta get a towel, hang on a second. I was, got everything but my towel. Okay, you got it in picture? Yep. All right, we're gonna, hit, we're gonna hit it right here. Let's just do it right here, these two stains. That's good and saturated. I'm gonna let it dwell here for just a, you know, 15, 20 seconds. Um, the other cleaner that I'm gonna be doing a video on is actually something that none of you are probably gonna expect. Actually, one of you will because I've, I talked to him on the phone. Uh, one, another one of my subscribers, I talked to him on the phone and uh, so I've already told him about it, but okay. Anyways, we're gonna get in here. We're just gonna go in circles. It's already taken that part off right there. I think this Adams upholstery, carpet upholstery cleaner is an excellent product. You have to remember on this vehicle, this vehicle is 12 years old and it's probably never ever been cleaned, honestly, just by the looks of it. I mean, I'm cleaning up some stains that have been here in really hot weather and just stuck to this carpet. So anything that I can get out is a bonus, but I'm also not gonna go overboard. Let me hit just a little bit more right there and right there. Mean B392. If you have not been on his channel, he's got a beautiful blue Scat Pack Challenger. And uh, he's who I talked to on the phone the other night. And uh, he's the one that originally made a video about this that I saw. And the reason that I wanted to order some is because how good it worked on his wife's truck. And I am absolutely blown away by the product. So go to his channel, check it out, subscribe to his channel. You know, show him some support too. He's got a really cool channel, really awesome car that I've told him over and over how much I want it. I'll get one one of these days. So, so anyways, no, this is blue. Um, anyways, we're now we're gonna wipe it up and I'm gonna show you, this is a clean towel, I just went and got it. Now the brown. Go in a different spot. How dirty this carpet is. But that's okay, we're getting it cleaned. Whew, man, show them that real good. Now, as you can see, this one right here is still here a little bit. Um, but, I mean, for the most part, all this is gone that was right here here and for the most part this and we're going to go over all this with the carpet shampoo or later anyways let's do this one real quick can you see it can you see all that brown in the camera a little bit. let me see from my angle yeah see all this right here these stains coffee stains or whatever i may have to take the camera back for my son once i'm done scrubbing it in fact let's just do all this And I'm gonna be start buying this stuff by the gallon. In fact, my wife just put it in a cart on adamspolishes.com to get some. When you get done with that, dinner's done. Dinner's done, okay. Dinner's done, I gotta hurry up. <laughs> Scrub it. Trying to not make these videos too long. There's a lot of stuff I have to do on this Jeep. Some of the stuff I'm not even, I'm not even gonna mess with filming. Some of it I'm gonna to try to film as much as I can. Junior, do you smell anything from this product at all? Yeah. No, this stuff's, I mean, there's no smell. It's really weird. How it can be this good, as I, as I would say, this potent on these nasty stains and have no smell is amazing. Okay, let's just wipe it one time. Let's see what it looks like. It's not too bad, but the stain's gone. Okay, that was it. Remember what it looked like a minute ago? I didn't go down here. I did all this right here. Look at that. 
That carpet looks brand new. This product is an amazing product. Well, my wife said it's dinner time. I'm gonna go eat some dinner and we will finish this video here in just a few minutes. Okay, so on to the worst stain in the car, which is on the rear bench seat. Um, no idea what this is. I'm not really sure if it might be chocolate. It kind of looks like maybe chocolate. I'm not, melted chocolate, I'm not sure. But uh, let's just see if this, if this will even touch it. Honestly, I don't know if it will. But I'm gonna soak it pretty good. Let's sit in there for just a second, because I, I'll be really, really surprised if this, if this cleans this out. brush on it you can see how dirty it is holy smokes <laughs> look how dirty it is but I mean for the most part that is so much better I I have some uh, tough stuff up there that that wouldn't have touched this I've been using that stuff for years it works good don't get me wrong but not nearly as well as this we're gonna go for a second try let's see if we can get this stain all the way out here I'm not gonna show you me doing this whole bench seat but that's a big stain so I wanted to show you guys this but that right there Speaks for its, oh, that's just gross. <laughs> I keep saying that, but it is. And this is the one stain that my wife was worried about more than any of them. Because it was so bad looking. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned, but this is a carpet and upholstery cleaner from Walmart, and it's like $4, I think. I just went and bought another one tonight. A different one from Walmart. And I am applying a lot of pressure trying to get down in there and those fibers and get that out of there. Even more, as you can see, because both sides are dirty. Even more. More. I mean, it just keeps pulling it out. Let's give it one more. I think it will be gone because I'm about out of product anyways. I don't think I have another towel that I care about it getting dirty, so. I have one more yellow one up here? Okay. Yeah, can you grab it for me? Because I think we're about to get it. Does it because it just keeps pulling more and more out. Huh? I think it pretty much is gone. Actually, honey, I think I'm gonna okay, yeah. I'll need it anyways here in a minute. Cigarette burn hole right there. Okay, you can kind of see it just a little bit. But, you can see it right there. That did an amazing job. And I think if I go at it again, I'll probably get it all the way out, but I'm gonna go over with the carpet cleaner or maybe even my steam cleaner. But that right there will show you the power of that Adams Polishes carpet and upholstery cleaner. It works really, really well. Well, that's gonna do it for my review on Adams Polish's carpet and upholstery cleaner. As you can see, there's not a lot left. I did both front seats. I did just that little stain on the on the rear um, rear seat for the back, and I did a little bit on the carpet, and that's as much as I got left. So buying it by the bottle, you can expect to get three or four seats out of it, maybe if your seats aren't too bad. This is a this is a 
This is kind of a rare situation. I don't think this car has ever been detailed. It's ever been cleaned in its entire life. It's 12 years old. There's stains everywhere. We're just trying to get it back to where it's decent looking inside uh, for my wife to be driving, the kids to be riding in. And you know me, I don't like dirty cars, so I want to get it as clean as possible. But in a, in a normal situation, on my cars at least, I keep them as clean as possible. If I get a stain, you know, I used to use the tough stuff. Now I'm definitely going to always use the carpet upholstery cleaner. But you're going to hit one or two stains with it. Scrub it out with the brush, hit it with a microfiber, stain's gonna be gone, that's it. This bottle will last a long time. But if you detail cars like I do, and every now and then somebody wants you to clean the interior, one little bottle is not gonna get you through. So I think it was 10.99 for this bottle, and I can buy a gallon for 29.99 on their website. So I'm gonna buy a gallon, and I'm gonna start keeping this stuff here because it works that well. And I two thumbs up to Adams Polishes on this product. It is a great product, it has no smell. I've had no problem with any residue being left behind. I'm sitting here trying to look at my seats that I've got sitting here. No residue left behind, even though it says there's a possibility. There's none on mine. Um, it's It doesn't leave a scent behind. And it most of it you can get on the first pass. Most of it. Now, that that big chocolate stain, wherever it was on the rear bench seat, I have no idea what that is. I had to hit it twice or three times. I'm probably going to need to hit it a fourth time. And it'll probably be out. But this stuff works really, really good. I highly recommend it to any of you that want to get a stain out of your carpet, a stain out of your seats. This stuff works amazing and highly, highly recommend it. Um, so if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button while you're down there, hit that little bell so every time I upload a video, you get notified and we will see you next time.